Ho ho! <laughs> level 120 Paradon. Max level. Highest possible. I can't believe it. We gotta get this guy. I just flew around like the whole map looking for a high level Pterodon. Couldn't find a single one. I gave up and of course like five minutes later, now that I'm not looking, <laughs> I just found the best possible one. Uh, we gotta get this guy. We don't want him to die. Oh, I think he's landing. He's landing. Okay. Okay. Come on. Come on. This is it. This is our moment. This is gonna be the greatest thing ever. Oh no, he took off right away. Okay, okay, we gotta be careful, because if he falls in the water or something, he's gonna die. We gotta be very careful where we trank him. Is he not landing now? Oh, come on. <laughs> he was just landing. Is that a hit? How did I miss? <laughs> I missed, like, them right in front of you. Okay, okay. Trying to get a headshot. No! One shot killed. That was a trank arrow. Ah! I should have used the weaker bow, I guess. Oh, what a waste. Alright, well anyways guys, welcome back to some more Ark Survival. How you doing? Hopefully you're having a wonderful day. I'm, I'm a little bit salty myself right now. <laughs> Just watched my dream die before my eyes. I'm so sad about that. Uh, but I did find maybe a good consolation prize here. Check this out. We're going to be doing some building today. Setting up a base. And I just found a 116 mammoth. These guys are great at harvesting wood, I, I've been told. So maybe, um, maybe this guy will help us out today quite a bit. There's also a 116 Enclio here. I think I said it right that time, finally. Oh, snappers. Okay, so yeah, let's let's for sure get this mammoth, if we can. So I'm going to park maybe by the coast here and try to lure him out this way. I don't really want him on the mountain because uh, there's tons of saber cats up on the mountain. Which I can't really fight off one-to-one -one if I'm not on my, my bird. And they will kill the... The mammoth pretty quick, I'm I'm sure. So, is this the one? Or was he to the left? Oh, that's it. Okay. All right. So we can for sure do headshots on this guy, though. <laughs> I think he can take it. So we'll get him to chase us. Um, are you not mad at me? I did just uh, shoot you in the face, you know. He's stuck on the tree. Whoa! <laughs> okay, I kind of want to free him so he can come down the mountain. But now he's going to whack me in the face if I try. Okay, okay, he's free. So let's get him mad. Let's go, buddy. Okay, okay, okay. Can you make it down? He's actually pretty fast, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, okay. Keep on trucking. One more in the face, right between the eyes. Oh, and it's stuck again, darn it. Okay, careful, careful. Okay, it should be free, or is he stuck on that little tree? Oh, he's free. He is free. <laughs> if he hit me right here, he would just send me flying. I would die from fall damage. So I've got to really watch out. This is a mountain we're on. Go to sleep. Oh, it worked. <laughs> yes. All right, he's down. Let's um, let's go get some mejo berries for this guy. We are pretty close to our base. It's just up in those trees there. So hopefully there's some animal there that can harvest berries. I'm just gonna run over there pretty quick. Oh, let's oh oh. Let's kill this guy before we go. Otherwise, our mammoth is going to die. Let's just maybe scan the area, too. Just in case there's more. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Alright. Yeah, that worked out pretty good. Uh, Putsy had a stego at, at the base there, so I just farmed up some mejo berries real quick. 
Should be enough to get this guy tamed, I hope. All right, did he start at 99? Oh, he did, 99.9. .9. That's what we want to see. Okay, it's going to be a little bit of a long tame here. I'm pretty sure, but uh, it's going to be worth it. I've wanted a mammoth for a long time, so this worked out really well. It's right by our base. We're doing some building today. Excellent. All right. Are you done eating already? Oh, man, this is going to take a really long time. <laughs> I'm going to build a wall around this guy then because I don't want anything attacking it. All right, guys, I think this will do it. 94.7% plus 54 levels. And it's a female, apparently. i got to stop saying him. <laughs> oh, baby. My first mammoth. I am excited. Um, oh, I didn't, I didn't think of a name. Fuzzy? Fuzzy Wuzzy. Perfect. <laughs> there we go. Um, let's go for a test drive. I want to see how this thing handles. I did bring a saddle over. All right, let's get this on. And what is it now? So it's a one, 170, 4,900 health, 960 stamina, 666 six, six, six weight, uh-oh, 386 damage, 222 movement speed. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, man. <laughs> Um, well, let's go try it on some trees, I guess. Oh, yeah, look at the stamina. The stamina is not going down at all. That is great. Moves pretty quick, actually. Okay, currently, uh, oh, look how how fast it gathers wood already. That's insane. With like, Without upgrading any, like, melee damage or anything. Oh, snappers. Yeah, I think I want to go melee damage to begin with, then maybe weight. Stamina seems good. Maybe a little bit of movement speed would be nice. But other than that, this guy is pretty baller already. Yeah, 370 wood already. Oh, snappers. I think Putsy just got a gorilla. Oh, man. I hey, got another pet. You got a gorilla, man. <laughs> hey, I got a gorilla. That's awesome. Have you taken one of these for a spin yet? I haven't. I uh, I'll probably try to get one either today or or, or soon anyway. <laughs> They're a lot of fun. Yeah. They're really cool. Yeah, man. That's awesome. Cool. Have fun with it. All right, I will. Thanks, man. Yep, yeah, so uh, today, guys, it is base building day. Uh, you can see Dark Fan, he started on his house here. It's looking pretty cool so far. Why does he have floating grass? I have no idea. <laughs> uh, I think Ty and Putsy are going to be building in this area as well. And I. Oh, yeah, Putsy has like a, a garden area set up, I believe. I think we're going to share this. We're all going to try to keep the crops alive because they're they're a pain to keep fertilized by yourself and I just picked out a spot for myself here I think I'm gonna build on this ledge just threw down a bunch of thatch floor here to make sure it's flat and and uh, all together and I think this is a, a decent size area to begin with so let's get to it here I'm excited I've been collecting thousands and thousands of stone <laughs> and all these little pieces to to put the base together, I got a rough idea of what I want to do here. So let's start laying it out. Alright, so first thing. Uh, this is about nine tiles wide, I believe. One, two, three, four, five. It's really hard to see the lines, I find. Uh, let's start putting down some walls here. We're going to change out this, this floor to stone foundation in just a second. Maybe this will make it easier to count. Alright, so I want like a five wide platform to begin with here. Alright, so that leaves one, two, three tiles on this side and one, 
Is it two on this side? I think maybe I need to go over one. All right. Yeah, I think I messed up here. <laughs> Let's get rid of this wall. All right, we're already wasting. That's a good sign. And this is the very center, I believe, right here. Okay, so we're going to build this up two tiles high. Uh, I want a deluxe kitchen. That's the first thing we're going to focus on here. Uh, I did not make a fridge or any of that stuff yet, but uh, we'll, we'll set up the spot to do it anyway. Okay, so I think what we'll do now, let's put down our ceilings, start putting the floor down. This is, uh, like, where these ceilings are, that's going to be the floor of our kitchen, our big deluxe kitchen here. I want, like, five fridges and <laughs> and an oven, and, oh, man, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be the greatest kitchen. Gordon Ramsay is going to be ashamed of, of his life once he sees my kitchen. All right, so ramp here. Then I want one more to get up to up to here. I'm not going to do it like that. Let's put down a wall here, I suppose. Uh, I guess we'll, we'll want this down as well then. Uh, can we connect to a ceiling? If we put a ceiling here, now we might be able to put a second ramp to get up to it. Yeah, that worked. Good. Alright, so that is how we can get up. Oh, wait a second. I forgot. These don't connect properly. Oh, darn it. Hmm. <laughs> well, I don't like that very much. Uh-huh. Okay, that actually worked out okay. What we can do is just set it up like this, and then when we put the ramps in... Check this out. It's amazing. Alright, so it goes like that. And then another one over here. And then the ceiling kind of connects the two together. You, you have this little little extra section, but I think it's okay like that. I like that. Alright, and then underneath, if you look at the, the other side here, it's like you have a secret area under the stairs, which is pretty cool. Uh, okay, so it's coming along here. We're just about out of stone pieces already, though, so I'm going to have to go farm some more. Um, this is where we're at, though. I'll show you here. So we got this area underneath. This is either going to be for storage, like we'll have a ton of storage all along these walls here, or I might just use this for, uh, like an egg farm for storing animals down here. Uh, or I might want to put, like, a generator room down here as well, is my current thinking. But if we go upstairs over here, this is our kitchen area. Uh, what I want to do is have these compartments on both sides. This side over here, we are going to try put the oven in here. What's it called again? Let's just double check. Do, 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 do. Where is it? I just unlocked it. Yeah, industrial grill. This thing is amazing. It's a must-have. Uh, we're going to put it in here. It's like too wide and too tall, though. So it takes up quite a bit of space. On this side, we'll probably throw in some preserving bins, maybe a little bit of uh, pantry, extra storage, you know. Alright, get the roof on here. And over here, this big section here, this is where I'm going to put my fridges. Oh yes, there's going to be like five of them all along here. Oh, it's getting really dark. <laughs> okay ceiling over there I suppose uh, on on the front here I'm gonna put the cooking pots like two to four of them in the front and in the very center we're gonna have water access hopefully so I'll have to run pipes all the way up to the middle here and that is where we're at so far and now guys it's been a few hours since that last clip I've been building off camera here trying to get a lot done on this today uh, we're at a point now, though, where I'm not going to add any more on it this episode. I've been I've been building for hours. <laughs> I need a break from it. Uh, the whole building is just kind of floating right now, though, so we definitely need to add more on to it. But I'll, I'll show you around now what we got. Uh, we got all the core space worked out where we need to add our functional things. So I decided to put the cooking pots over here instead. 
because I discovered something. Oh, wait a second. We, we need to grab something here. This is the upstairs. This is where we're going to have our storage. Um, there's nine cabinets on this side, nine on this side. And I was planning on adding a whole bunch all along here as well. But now I don't know if we actually need to do that because that is an insane amount of storage. So I'm just going to leave it blank for right now until I decide. Uh, yes, I want to grab this and this. Uh, I made a fabricator before. We're going to set that up here in a second. Okay, let's just hop down right now. So I want a bunch of these cooking pots because there's various different recipes. Uh, they're sort of like potions if you're if you're used to Minecraft. <laughs> uh, they give you buffs like there's one called Enduro Stew which allows you to run longer and, and hit harder. That's pretty decent. It allows you to gather materials quicker too as a result. I'm trying to get it just right without falling off the building as I do this. Okay, mm. yeah, I guess I'll have to put it right there. And there we go. Ah, it's kind of sticking over a little bit. That's going to bug me. <laughs> it's fine. It's good. Uh, I put the water tap right here in the middle. Nice and easy access because every single potion in the game, I believe, takes water in addition to it. So you need lots of it nearby. Okay, and uh, found out... Oh, could I not do it now? I added in this uh, water pipe stuff. Maybe it blocked the, the path. I was able to put this here before, though. Oh, there we go. There we go. Aha, uh -huh, a little secret spot for my preserving bin. Nice and compact. I don't know if we can add another one up here. I don't think we need two even, though. We just need one for making jerky, basically. That's the only reason we'd use it. For preserving stuff, we're going to use fridges in the future here. Uh, okay, let's head back up here. I decided to leave this pretty open as well so that we could just like fly, land a bird, unload or pick up items, and then and then have it nice and quick, you know? Without having to climb up ladders or go up ramps. You just fly in, hop off, and you're, you're at all the storage, and this is where... Um, Furnaces are going to be our smithies in here. I got five of these uh, mortar things. One of them is going to be for each function. So we got like cementing paste in one, spark powder, going to do gunpowder, narco berries, and maybe stim berries in another one. Uh huh. And this room I left open for the fabricator. This is the main thing I wanted to set up today. So let's do that. Let's get it down. This is allows us to make all the advanced items in the game. And it takes a lot of space, this thing. Alright. Um, how about there? Let's do it. Okay, there we go. Alright, this is the thing I wanted. Let's try to make the industrial grill, maybe. Oh, wait, it takes oil. Darn it. <laughs> uh, we might not have all the things we need here. Alrighty, so I just went to my other base, picked up a few things here. I think we can make at least one item now. Got the oil, crystals, pearls, some more iron. Okay, let's turn this baby on. And I also unlocked a bunch of engrams here, so we can check out some, some stuff. So polymer is two obsidian, two paste to make. Electronics is three pearls, one metal. Those are like your base materials. Uh, oh, we can, we can just straight up make this thing now. Awesome. <laughs> Alright, so let's do that for sure. And I unlocked the safe. The safe is 300 metal, 60 cementing base, 30 oil, 60 polymer. That thing is crazy expensive. But apparently it holds a lot of stuff, so it might be worth getting. Uh, the fridges, I want five of these at least. 120 metal, 15 polymer, 25 crystals, 10 electronics. Yeah, so I think I'm going to set up a metal mining base before I attempt to do that. It's going to take a lot of stuff. We need a generator to run our fridges and other electrical stuff. And I think that's everything, right? 
Okay, let's grab this. We'll set it up. Oh, and uh, I want to make flak armor too. I found two blueprints. And the difference is insane with these. So look at what I'm wearing. Hide shirt currently, 20 armor compared to 218 armor. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty significant. Tire my gloves. Oh, I thought I had a pants blueprint, but I guess not. I've been going without pants for a while here, thinking I would get them right now, but I guess not. Okay, it's fine. Um, that's probably good, actually. Let's shut that off for now. It takes one gas every time you run that thing, and it runs for, I think, 30 minutes on that. Okay, it makes an insane amount of noise, too. I'm going to just go ahead and repair this, I guess. Mm, oh, do I not have the stuff? Wait a second. I think it takes chitin. I hate wasting chitin, but the armor this gives is pretty decent. 79. Okay, let's do that. And put those on again. So my armor now is 601. Wow. Uh, if we have time, I think we will. I just want to go check out a cave real quick today, too. I've been wanting to do that for so long, and I keep putting it off. Because I've been kind of scared to go in there alone with no armor. <laughs> Alright. Grab some food off our birdie. And let's get our grill down. Uh, it almost took up the whole space here. Look at this. Okay, maybe... Maybe about there. Oh, bad placement. Let's try again. Nope, still no good. Sometimes it does that. It says you can place it, but then it doesn't actually place it. I don't know why. Seems to be happening a lot with this for some reason. Come on. I might be disconnected from the server. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, let's really move it over then. If it's going to be stubborn. There we go. Okay. So yeah, what you do, just transfer all your items. That only puts meat and other cook cookable things inside. And it takes gas to run this as well. So let's just grab one. It runs for, I believe, 30 minutes on one, like the fabricator. Turn on. And the more meat you put in, the more it cooks at once, I believe. So if all these slots are filled, it cooks it cooks them all. But yeah, it doesn't take very long, and you get tons and tons of cooked meat out of this. And then you can put it in a fridge, and you like always have it. 13 in one go there. <laughs> Just pretty awesome. Pretty cool. Looks cool as well. I like it. Uh, you have to be careful you don't... You don't stab it with your weapons, though, because it'll actually damage it. Uh-huh. All right, so well, I'm going to get a few things together here, and we'll go check out that cave by our original base, I guess. Here it is, guys, our old base. Mustard, KFC, and ketchup are still there. Good. <laughs> I have to check on them. i got to make sure they're still, still alive. Our champions, we can't let them die. 200 out of 500 food, okay. Oh, 45 food. That's not so good. I'll have to feed them very soon here. Okay. But let's uh, let's go check out the cave. I brought uh, Yosha with us. Hopefully we can get her inside. I'm not really sure what to expect with this, to be honest. I don't know how difficult the caves are. I've, I've never been in them myself. I've just seen a little bit of video... Of people exploring them. Other people. <laughs> Not me. Um, hopefully we can get Yosh Yosha inside though. I think my bird will be safe out, out there. Okay, so I believe there's a big lag spike right at the start. No! Oh man, did they fix that? It is really dark in here though, man. Oh, there's the lag spike. Oh man. There we go. Okay. <laughs> uh, so I believe this is one of the easier caves. Some of them are more difficult than others. 
Those are the crystals we can harvest. Okay. Is this a maze? I don't want to get lost. It goes left and right. Let's go right, I suppose. Oh, what is that down there? I don't know if I should stay on, on Yosha or what. Oh, that's a spider! How tough are these guys? They poison you! Oh, snap. They give you chitin, too. Oh, man! Oh! Okay, that's a lot of dudes. <laughs> that is a lot of dudes. Yosha, can you handle these? I'm not going to be too sad if Yosha dies. Just because I, I haven't grown attached or anything. Oh, she, she's taking it like a boss, though. Health is way up still. I could see... Okay, maybe let's let's back off a little bit. I could see how this is dangerous. <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of creatures in here. She's gonna pass out with all these uh, stings she's she's getting. Okay, health is about at half. Um, just about out of stamina is the main problem right now. If we take out this last scorpion, though, we should be okay. Oh yeah, out of stamina. Oh oh, what's going on? Camera issues okay yeah this is a pretty tough area oh she's almost dead come on 112 <laughs> all right so I did bring cooked meat lots of cooked meat from our furnace I discovered something the other day these apparently heal your animals by 10 regular meat the raw meat is only by five per use at least I think it's 10. It's about 10. So it's really good to bring that along if you're going to be taking damage. Alright. Torpor is at 490. I was attacking a lot there even though uh, we were out of stamina. Okay. Should be good. The nice thing about uh, bringing a raptor inside here is I can attack while holding a torch still, <laughs> so we can actually see. Alright, that guy got knocked out by the scorpions, it was unconscious. The bats give you just meat and hide, it looks like. Okay. Lots of dudes again. Let's sort of leer them to us before we take them all on at once. There's more mobs in here than I was expecting. A lot more. Okay, the spiders aren't bad. It's, it's the scorpions and bats we gotta watch out for. Level up. Let's do damage. All we can get. Oh, it's lava. That's what I was seeing. Whoa! Okay, they knocked me forward. <laughs> Careful. Careful. I wonder how we get across here. Or do we have to jump it? Oh, they're all mate boosted. Four fours are going up again. Why is it going up? I got oh I got poisoned. The dilos are the worst thing, man. It takes so many hits to kill for some reason. I guess they're high level. I guess uh, let's eat some raw meat just to get it out of us. Okay, well, I had to go outside the cave for a little bit. Half my health is down. I think just from being near the lava is killing me. So, I don't know how far we can actually get by ourselves here. Because <laughs> as soon as I came back, like five minutes later, half the mobs already respawned. So we can't stay in for very long, and if we leave, all the mobs come back, it seems, so... It's a bit tricky. Or I need to, like, make medical potions, I think, would be a good idea. Alright, but we're just going for, for a little lick here. There is an artifact inside the cave, which I would like to find. But we might not do it today. We'll see. Oh, hello. We got a this? 
with scorpions on the other side? I don't know about that. <laughs> yes, all all of them are falling off the cliff. That's good. Make sure nothing's coming up behind me to push me off. Alright, well this is a little bit scary. Okay, turn, turn. Nobody said there was going to be parkour. Oh my goodness, I'm so scared. If you like back up and go forward, it seems to turn on the spot. Okay, how's my health? My health is going down a little bit, but we're still okay. That that up there looks really bad though. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Looks like I have to jump though. Okay, let's take out these fools and hopefully... Do I really have to jump that? Oh, right there. Right there. I think that's it. Or, or something. Oh, hey. I'm trying to look, Scorpion. Interrupting me. Right over... Oh, where'd it go? It's right in front of me. Right there. What is that? Loot crate. Is that the artifact or is that just like an item? I wonder. There is a way around on the right. Ooh, it's getting hard to see in here. Okay. Yeah, you can see my health is going down even though I haven't taken damage. Just the raptor's taking damage. But the heat is killing me. Oh, snap. Okay. We are taking a lot of damage here. So there's another path that leads up to here. Ouchies. Ouchies. Come on, bring it on. What you got? You got nothing. Took him out with ease. Here's the tricky part. It looks like we have to cross and jump. <laughs> cross and jump. There's some dilos. Ah! Oh! <gasps> no! Oh, no way! I jumped and it like shot me downwards in midair. Okay. <laughs> Well, I guess that concludes our adventure. I don't know why I messed up that jump. Like, I just, like, jumped and then fell suddenly. Uh-huh. Alright, well, that was interesting. I'm going to have to get re-geared, though, unfortunately. Um, so I'm going to call it here for today, guys. We got lots of progress on the, on the base today, which is great. And uh, we're going to keep on working on that. Uh, but until next time, thank you for watching. Why am I a white dude?